and welcome back to Home Built Help's Tip of the Week. We're wrapping up Sun and Fun and wanted to highlight some of the wonderful vendors that were at the show. One vendor that took the time to explain their really nice product is coming up next. Now, some of you, like myself, fly from small country airports all over the country, and one thing that's lacking is having good weather reporting from our plane when we go to land. In other words, getting the winds, the directions, etc. They simply don't have an automated weather reporting service. Sure, we can look at the nearest large airport and get an idea of what the wind is doing, but it'd sure be nice if these small fields had a way to get really accurate density, altitude, wind direction, all of that so we could land. And in fact, it'd be even nicer if we could look up on the internet what the weather was at these small fields before taking off. But if we're having a big fly-in or something, boy, it should be nice if everyone could click the mic and get automated weather. It, it's been very expensive to have one of these systems until now. Take a look at what this vendor is offering and maybe it's a fit for your small airport. My name is Larry Langbrake. I'm with Connect 6 and we make Say Weather. We're here at the 2018 Sun and Fun International Air Show and Expo in Lakeland, Florida. And today we're really excited to be talking about the, our Say Weather system which will give you weather at your airport. How would you like to have an AWOS at your airport for free? We can't actually do this for free, but we're gonna do the very next best thing, which is bring AWOS-like weather, provide you an alternative, and have that at your very own airport. Essentially, the system consists of a Davis weather station. Davis makes uh, some of the best in the industry. These are used commercially in the agricultural industry. Wind sensors, rain, temperature, dew point. It's all solar powered. It communicates wirelessly back to a console that would be in the hangar or at the FBO. That console is over here, it can be up to a thousand feet away from the weather station. And again, being solar powered, there's no 120 volt lines to, to run, etc. That wireless information comes into the console. The console then transmits that data to the Say Weather system. The Say Weather system converts that information into an advisory weather report that you would receive over your aircraft's VHF radio. That's transmitted with a small radio that's off to the side, which goes to an external antenna. The way the system actually works is you're in your aircraft, you may be 10 to 20 miles out, you want to activate the Say Weather system to give you a weather advisory. You just key it four times, and then you'll hear your advisory at your airport. Three, six, zero, at four knots, temperature, one, nine, zero, at Celsius, two point one four Celsius, altimeter, three, zero, zero, two, density altitude, three hundred, over. That number of clicks can be programmed by the user to be three clicks, four clicks, five clicks, whatever you would like to bring up your, your advisory weather. We report wind speed, wind direction, gusts, temperature, dew point, altimeter setting, and density altitude. We also include an option for lighting, airport lighting. You can program that for any number of clicks as well. And this particular case is programmed for five. If we clear it five times, you'll actually see the. Winston Airport lights acknowledged. You'll see the lights come on, but we also provide this acknowledgement that assures the pilot, especially if you're approaching from a long distance, you might not necessarily know where the airport is, assures you that your lights on command was received, acknowledges that over the radio, and tells you that they're on. We have the Sayweather Pro, which I've just described. We have the Sayweather Base System, which actually uses a slightly different weather station that uses the Davis Vantage View. It's over here on the spool. That system does not have as accurate a humidity measurement, and so we do not provide density altitude with that system. Both of these systems can report weather live to weather underground on the internet. 
We transmit the data once every five seconds. The transmitted information is actually via a Wi-Fi connection to your router. So as long as you have an internet and Wi-Fi at your airport, the system will connect to that and communicate wirelessly the weather information back to Weather Underground. One of the differences in price, this is uh, less than $5,000, that one's less than $4,000, this is $4,795. The $3,795 system does not include the published to weather, published weather to internet option. That's a $200 option. All the current weather information um, over that was taken in the past five seconds is all displayed on the front screen here. And actually it'll show current weather. Uh, there's also built in a push to talk function if you want to talk over the radio that's attached and you need to, need to uh, communicate something to someone in the pattern, you can just hit the push to talk. You can also initiate a Say Weather report uh, without the pilot requesting it. If you just push this directly, it'll actually transmit it um, based on a command from somebody on the ground. These are just status LEDs that simply show you the status of the system. This uses all the AWAS, standard AWAS algorithms, so we report uh, using the FAA-approved NOAA-based algorithms for reporting uh, winds, wind speeds, gusts, temperature, dew point, density, altitude. That's all based on the same algorithms that AWAS has used. No license is needed to use this system. The FCC and the FAA recognize automated unicoms. This is an automated unicom. You can look up the, uh, the CFR for the FCC that describes the requirements. This does meet the requirements of that. Typically, airports put this on their already approved or assigned Unicom frequency. We've been selling these for about a year. We introduced these at Sun and Fun last year in 2017. More than two dozen out there across the United States right now in use from California all the way over here to Florida, from Washington State to Florida. Boy, I think I'd like one of these systems for the little airport I fly out of. I, th I think I'm going to get a hat and pass it around, take up a collection, see if we can uh, round up some funds for one of these units. May maybe a breakfast fly-in. Let's see if we charge five bucks. Probably need about a thousand people. Well, we'll have a few fly-ins, but I want automated weather for my little airport.